Hello, welcome to this beginner's guide to understanding basic camera settings. If you're just starting out with photography or looking to brush up your skills, you've come to the right place. In this video, we will be covering three essential camera settings, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. These settings are the building blocks of photography and can greatly improve your images when used correctly. So let's begin. First up, let's talk about aperture. Aperture refers to the opening in the lens that lets light into the camera. It is measured in f-stop and represented by the number such as f over 1.8 or f over 16. The lower the f-stop number, the wider the aperture and the more light that lets into the camera. A wider aperture also results in shallow depth of field, which means that only a small portion of the image is in focus whilst the rest is blurred. This can be great for portrait photography or when you want to isolate the subject from the background. On the other hand, a higher f-stop number results in narrower aperture, less light entering the camera, and a deeper depth of field. This can be useful when you want to keep everything in the scene in focus, such as landscape photography. Next up, we have shutter speed. Shutter speed refers to the amount of time the shutter's camera stays open, allowing light to enter the camera and hit the sensor. It's measured in seconds or a fraction of a second, such as 1 over 100 or 1 second. A faster shutter speed means the shutter stays open for a shorter amount of time, resulting in less light entering the camera. This can be useful when you want to freeze the moment or freeze the motion, such as sports photography or when capturing moving subjects. A slower shutter speed, on the other hand, means the shutter stays open for a longer period resulting in more light entering the camera. This can be useful when you want to create motion blur, such as photographing waterfalls or night scenes. Last but not the least, we have ISO. ISO refers to the camera's sensitivity to light. A low ISO number such as 100 means the camera is less sensitive to light. A higher ISO setting can be useful in low light situations such as indoor or at night. However, a higher ISO can also result in more digital noise or grain in the image. Therefore, it is important to find the right balance between the ISO and other camera settings to achieve the desired outcome. Also, it's important to note that these camera settings work hand in hand. So when you change the ISO, you might also maybe need to adjust your shutter speed or you might need to adjust your aperture. So there you have it, a basic understanding of aperture, shutter speed and ISO. By mastering these three, you will be able to take your photography to the next level and capture stunning images. Remember, practice makes perfect. So grab your camera and start experimenting with different settings to see what works best for you. Thank you for watching and happy shooting.